Hi guys, so I'm going to just do a quick cleansing of this space. This is actually going to be my tarot room. Um, so I found some sage. My other sage is packed away in another box, but um, I found some loose sage. So I'm just gonna light it, let it simmer. Um, and I want to cleanse the room because I have a lot of my decks and stuff that have been um, boxed away. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that they, um, they get cleansed in bulk. But basically when you cleanse your house, you like to go room by room and you set the intention of releasing negative energies. So um, I just wanna ask that um, <clears throat> all the negative energies be released from this space. May the negative energies be released from all of my decks um, and bring forth abundance. I like to go from each corner of the room. Um, and I would also do this with the house too, like each corner of the house. But um, I'm not going to do the whole house because... <laughs> That would just be a long video, but I just kind of want to do this to kind of give you guys just an idea of how you can cleanse your, your room, your space. But a lot of this stuff that I have unpacked or that I have yet to unpack um, has literally been sitting here, sitting in boxes for like two years. <laughs> So it's like, it's really nice to be able to get it out. Oh, it smells so good. I miss lighting my, my sage. I do it myself too. <laughs> I've been living in the house um, a little bit under a week. So, um, I'll let this sit here. I've been living in the house a little bit under a week and I haven't had a chance to give it a really good cleanse because we've had like family members come visit and we got our internet put in and we work. We're still, you know, obviously we work. So we just have like a lot of like little things going on <laughs> that have made it a little difficult to um, for me to like set the space and, you know, do a cleansing in that way. So I haven't been unfortunately been able to do that, but it is usually ideal, especially when you first move into a house. It's usually ideal that you um, <clears throat> that you cleanse the space. Um you know, as soon as possible. There's no, there was really, I mean, some people will probably say like there's an indefinite timeline, but for me, it's like whenever you are available, um, whenever you're able to do it is, is a good time to do it. <laughs> I'm going to sit down here so I can, ugh. I've been putting all of my decks in their, um, in their space. Oh, it smells so good in here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So, Basically, what I found was I was unpacking my stuff and I found, please excuse the nasty nails, I gotta redo them. Um, but I found my sage, my loose sage. So I put some of that in the abalone shell and um, I had a feather that I found. I have this beautiful little crystal fan thing that I made, turkey feathers. Um, but I usually, sometimes I'll use this to... to do a cleansing, but I found the feather and I thought, you know what? He's been sitting in the in the box for two years. Let me go ahead and just give everything a freshen up. I found a whole bag of incense that I that I um, had put away. It's over there on that shelf. So a bag of incense and um, just stuff, stuff everywhere. Um, all of this, <laughs> all of this down here is all crystals. Crystals and like little odds and ends that I packed away. So I'm gonna slowly start unpacking all of those. 
I still have my books in boxes in the garage, but I'm not even gonna bother with those until um, until my husband's around so that he could help me, you know, carry them into the house. But really, I just wanted to get my decks out. I wanted to get the decks out. Oh, I bumped, I got a bruise here. <laughs> Um, I wanted to get my decks out. I wanted to put them into the space that I'm going to be keeping them in so you guys could see there. Um, mainly because I want to start doing my readings and I can't do readings if I feel like my whole life is still all over the place. And by all over the place, I mean in boxes and in one room and in another room and I don't know where everything is and I can't find it all and you know I'm sure those of you who have moved you guys know how annoying that can be so uh, little by little I just wanted to get into it my husband was like babe when are you gonna make the house smell like a crystal shop <laughs> because um in the apartment I used to always light incense I would do it when he wasn't home this way um his allergies wouldn't act up and so by the time he would get home it would just smell really good in the house but the smoke wouldn't necessarily you know annoy his allergies um so he's not home right now and so I figured you know what if I'm gonna light some sage I better just do it right now but um, I want to make the house smell like a crystal shop. <laughs> so, and then I also found um, uh, my essential oils. So they're down there, right? Where am I? There I go, right there. <laughs> so I found my essential oils. Those have been in a box for two years. Um, so I can't wait to, to take out the lavender because I used to anoint myself with oils before I would do a reading. And there's just so much of my practice and myself and my beautiful things that have been locked up in boxes for years because I couldn't bring them with me into the house that I was staying at. And um, my lifestyle was really like on the down low. <laughs> I mean, it still is like... I don't plan on, you know, coming out and being completely open with my practice with people with like just anybody. Even some of my friends don't know that I do what I do um, because I just feel like it's so far from what they do. It They just wouldn't get it. It just it, people who are not on the path don't they won't understand. And maybe they'll be intrigued if they're curious and, and they want to know more. But um for the most part, they'll probably just look at me like I'm one of those weird hippie people. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been nice to be able to like unpack stuff and see what I got. And I'm just really, I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful for just the amazing abundance that has been happening in my life, in my husband's life, in our marriage. Um, this house has been a blessing. It is literally, you guys, like... I don't know, I don't think I put a video out of my full moon intention, but that that moon that, um, I think it was a Taurus full moon. Uh, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. But you guys know back when I did that, um, the Instagram live. Yeah, I did, I put a video out on YouTube. But I did an Instagram live where I was teaching people how to set intentions with candles and like kind of candle magic, if you want to call it that. Um, and in that, intention was when I actually put the intention out there for a house and I was telling my husband that when we were house hunting we were very specific with what we were looking for with our realtor and the one of the main things was I need a space for cackling moon like that was an absolute it had to have a space where I can have cackling moon um, if the house didn't have it, I wouldn't, I wasn't interested in it. And that was mainly because all of this time, especially when I moved back in with my family, um, I have had to be literally living a double life. Um, and I still to a point, like I still do, and I probably always will. Um, but it was heavily a double life when you're living in a household with people who just wouldn't understand. Um, and so when I was house hunting, I was really specific. Like I need a space for Cackling Moon, a space that I could lock the door. No one goes in here. It's always cleansed. It's my space. I have everything that I need in here. 
I can conduct my readings, I can do my videos, I can feel like I can you know, come in here and meditate, no one's gonna be tampering with my stuff, I don't have to hide it, <laughs> and I needed that. So this house, when we found this house, it had the room, I mean, it has it has four bedrooms, and one of them was I knew was gonna be Cackling Moon. My husband, he was, he, my husband was gonna actually move his desk in here too, and he was gonna he was gonna put his desk over here against this wall and we were gonna share you know share the space and then he he goes you know what babe i'm gonna move my desk into the other room we have two other rooms we don't have kids not yet at least i mean you never know it could happen <laughs> but he goes one of the rooms is literally it's it's pretty much a storage room it's where we keep like all of our extra stuff until we have space in, in the garage again to move it back in there um, because right now, we, like I said, we have boxes and stuff in there. Um, so he took the other bedroom for his office and he goes, I want you to have this space completely to yourself. And it was so like, oh, thank you. <laughs> because he knows how important this is to me. And this is a, this is, this Cackling Moon is an extension of who I am. Um, Cackling Moon is a, it's a little business that I have, you know, started from 2012 to now um, and on, on onward. Um, and it's something that I hope that will continue to grow and just become, you know, as abundant as it is meant to be. And with that, I needed the space to be able to do it. So this room I chose, I specifically chose this room for Cackling Moon because the wall is a little funky. I gotta, we gotta paint that part, but the wall is like a funky orangey color, which I'm not really too excited about, but it actually matches the t um, one of the tapestries that I have, it's like an astrology tapestry, and I can't find it right now, but it's somewhere, I know it's somewhere. <laughs> but it, it'll match the tapestry, so if I hang the tapestry, um, it actually would look kinda cool. So I'm gonna keep the wall until I get tired of it, and maybe I will change it, but it's growing on me, I mean, it's not that bad. So it has that accent wall. But the thing that really sold me for Cackling Moon was this, the closet. The, the people that lived here before, this was their exercise room. So they had those shelves for um, specifically for their weights and you know their exercise stuff. And so when I walked in here, when we were doing the walkthrough and I saw this, I was like, this has to be Cackling Moon. The shelves, all I could see was the space for my decks. I was like, I won't have to use my bookcases for the decks. I won't have to go out and buy shelving for the decks. They can go in the closet. And then I was like, I could close the closet doors so that it could be hidden if someone were to come in here. But then I thought, you know what? No, I don't want to hide my stuff anymore. I, I, it's my house. It's my house. It's my space. And so what my husband is going to do is he's going to put um he's gonna switch out the doorknob in the room so that it, it will lock on the outside so that if I know I'm gonna have family over um I'm I all I can do is just lock the door and no one goes in here <laughs> so it's it'll work out it's perfect so what I did before I, I was um filming I pulled out the closet doors and I actually, I don't think you could see it from here, but I stuck them in the other room over there. And so they're hiding in that room. And if I decide to pop them back in, they're easy to pop in, it's not a big deal. But I was just like, that is too perfect. The closet with the with the shelving space was just way too perfect for my decks. So <laughs> it just like, it's just one of those things you guys were like, when you set your intention, sorry for this being so bump, bumpy, it's like, a little uneven um when you set intentions for things that you want and you you really put that energy out there into the universe and you are open to receiving what you know you know you want but what you know you deserve and at the right time literally because divine timing that's everything um you will be surprised at just what you can manifest and this house was definitely manifested because down to the fact that it came with, um, it has a patio, which was another thing that I wanted. I wanted a patio that it has four bedrooms, that it has this whole space for Cackling Moon. Um, it's a corner lot, which is another thing that I wanted. Um, and, um, and it had dual sinks and it has a soaking tub that I'll actually fit in. Like, <laughs> 
<laughs> as crazy as that sounds, I know. Um, but my plus size girls out there will understand, um, you know, to have a soaking tub that we can actually fit in and feel comfortable in is fucking amazing. So I have that. Um, and it's just a beautiful, cozy space and I love it. So I just, I just wanted to just say how grateful I am, but I wanted to share this little moment with you guys because I, you know, I had my music on and I was setting everything up and I'm starting to like unbox certain things. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I found the, I found the sage and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do a quick video, put something on YouTube. Cause I know I've been MIA. Um, and just share this moment with you guys. Cause I just feel so blessed and so grateful and thankful and, um, happy. I'm happy. So, um, I'm going to start getting into the groove again. Um, my readings will start, but you'll start seeing them. They'll start popping up again. Um, as I get this space done, but you know how it is when you first move, like you just got to get used to everything, everything from like driving around here <laughs> to getting used to the streets and everything, getting used to my commute because I do commute to work now. So I, I have about a 45 to an hour drive, but if there is a lot of traffic, it'll take longer. Um, so just getting used to everything. Um, but other than that, it's fucking amazing like I'm so happy so um I just wanted to get on here do that tell you guys that I miss you and thank you so much for all of your support your loving comments and just everything you guys make this what, what it is really I mean if I didn't have all you <laughs> watching what I do what would be what would be the point right so um thank you i love you guys and you will see more of me soon very soon and until then i will show you another tour of the cackling moon room i think i'll call it that tcm room i don't know um but i'll give you a definite tour once everything is set up but until then this is it bye guys